hello and welcome back. This time we're checking out uh, some cheeky and outright wrong designs. So let's get started. I love ads on my 250 pound console that I continue to pay six pound a month to play on. Really? Well, that just called being stupid, right? Because you could have spent that money or at least you could have saved off some money to buy yourself a PC and uh, do not get uh, suckered in uh, to buying a crap box. There you have it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you could just buy a very, very cheap PC for 250 but yeah, you would be better off saving up. But still, there's just uh, no excuse for uh, buying a console. <laughs> Natural my food. <laughs> Amrit, natural brown sugar. Natural is only a brand name, <laughs> trademark, and does not represent its true nature. <laughs> That's hilarious. Holy shit. Oh my god. So evil. Am I the only person out there? Every time I go to the store, it seems like the, I'm the only person who actually bothers to somewhat read the ingredients. I don't, I don't pretend that I understand everything necessarily, but I'm not an idiot, and you know, I, I at least I know what's good and what is dodgy, and I wouldn't buy like a bag of sugar. I mean, I'm not that clueless. <laughs> but god damn it, how is this legal? Is this is this the U.S.? I I suppose because. Uh, the regulations tend to be a little bit stricter. Yeah, calm. This is a very high chance that it's the US because the regulations are kind of strict in the U. Uh, by opening the envelope for the license agreement, you agree to it. Ferrari. Oh my god, by breaking this seal, you accept the enclosed license agreement. Wow. Okay, Ferrari. I mean, this would actually just make me... I uh, want to back out of that like if you give me a License agreement, I would probably just sign it without reading it or maybe I would skim it kind of depends on the scenario Like I'm not gonna read the fucking license agreement of Vinrar, but I'm probably gonna read some well license agreement Yeah But I'm gonna read some other legal documents like obviously or maybe if it's very important have someone else read it for me like just kind of makes sense it for me, but but yeah, this is this is uh, super scummy Ferrari. What the hell? <laughs> when you thumbs down trash like this on Netflix, but it keeps coming back at the top of your homepage. Controversial opinion uh, coming. I'm I have mixed feelings about Netflix. Maybe that's controversial because it seems like everyone loves Netflix, but I do have mixed feelings about it because. Like every kind of service that kind of pro uh, promotes products, like I just I just want to watch what I want to watch. I don't want you promoting products to me. Like of course, like ultimately all services kind of like this. Like YouTube promotes shit to you. Like Netflix does it. Like basically everything. So ultimately, like maybe I'm asking for a little bit too much here, but uh, at least you should be able to customize it instead of like because. In, in other services, you have a way to kind of customize it. You, you can uh, change your subscriptions and, and YouTube and like, okay, now I'm getting stuff from people I like. That's kind of cool. Instead of like, hey, watch this uh, talk show host being unfunny for half an hour. Uh, obviously, that's not what you want. And I don't even know what other garbage uh, YouTube wants to show me. But yeah, this is obviously not cool. And uh, I know a little bit about this, but god damn it. So Gwyneth Paltrow is apparently just uh, shoving uh, complete garbage uh, onto people. And I guess she's getting paid big bucks for it. So I don't know. But still, like, can you really sleep at night? Because I understand the hustle to make some money. But on the other end, like, I'm not going to go around, like, shift people on the streets for it. Because that's kind of the equivalent. Like, maybe not equivalent, but like, you know. Still taking advantage of people, right? I'm basically an internet beggar at this point. Like, come on, I make content. Come on, throw some coins at me. I guess I guess I can feel good about it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, shrinkflation used by Cadbury to literally cut corners. The bottom chocolate bar is more than 8% smaller. Please, if you're buying chocolate bars in the store, the least of your concerns is that it's like 8% sl uh, smaller. Jeez. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they're being sneaky about it. My workplace is low plastic. Recyclable eco pens have a secret at their core plastic. As far as I understand it, uh, yes, moving away from plastic helps a little, but it is not what's gonna make a big difference. It's just the main difference is gonna be moving toward uh, clean energy sources, not trying to make paper pens instead of uh, plastic ones. But I suppose it is still like a, a plus. But my point is people are kind of focusing on the wrong things a little bit. It's not like, oh my god, I really want a paper straw. Instead of like, yeah, maybe watch, watch for some more important things like fossil fuels. But uh, they're supposed to be fun. Yeah, but I, I guess they're just trying to be cheap and... and uh, avoid the regulations at the same time. Mm, Vim Ping Pong to unsubscribe. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Unsubscribe. We sorry to see you go. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be a little careful. I, I, I thought about making a video about this. I don't really make these one-off videos, but maybe I should stra uh, start uh, about these uh, <laughs> topics that, like, in this day and age, like, not like, not, this is not exactly a new topic in the first place. I'm, I, if you're just trying to use the unsubscribe button, uh, you're just being foolish. Uh, what you should use instead is, like, first of all, your common sense uh, to not uh, give out your email address all the time. Or just uh, make sure to spend, uh, send all the messages to spam already, if you don't trust the site. But most of all, when you want to uh, unsubscribe, then you just want to uh, ban the site. Because sites these days just really, really, truly really try to get you hooked. Everyone, like, the internet is a big place. And, and Google, like, when, when it comes to Google searches, like, you know, no one gives a shit about, like, uh, other than the top five. And I and actually kind of manage that, but I'm getting a little off topic here to uh, customize the internet for myself a little bit. Yeah, but this is like just super scummy. I, I recommend not doing this. Just uh, uh, go to your email account and uh, just plug the site and uh, save yourself some uh, ping pong uh, uh, matches. <laughs> I know this is a satire, but uh, in reality, it actually takes uh, more hoops <laughs> to... Uh, get what you want. I never used the Facebook app. Came pre-installed in my phone. Uninstalled all the updates and turned off auto-update. And yet, Facebook successfully updated. Yeah. Facebook never forgets about me either. I don't try to find me on it. I have like... <laughs> I have zero presence. I only have it... I only had it once because apparently it was required for sign in yeah I'm, I'm not not really a facebook guy myself i feel like it's just not really healthy for you i mean ultimately that could be a place to keep your friends but i that's just one problem with it you just kind of put your like you have your friends and you have yourself and you have like facebook as like a big dick that nobody wants between your friends so that's kind of the problem so you don't really want to deal with Facebook in this case, but yeah. I kind of pr prefer dealing with uh, PCs, but yeah, you can also set up your phone uh, to less to be less annoying. But God damn it, Facebook, you need to take a hint. And making it seem like Macaulay Culkin was confirming that Jackson abused him when he was saying the opposite. It's the truth. Uh, Culkin speaks out on Jackson abuse claims. Macaulay Culkin speaks out on Michael Jackson abuse claims. He never did anything to me. <laughs> God damn it, independent. That's why you're blocked. 
I have uh, the independent uh, totally hidden uh, from my searches because it's a totally useless <laughs> site. <laughs> Rip in peace. My friend's high school just removed the stars from their public restrooms in an attempt, an attempt to stop vaping. I've never been so ashamed to be a graduate of this high school. In case there's any confusion or question about what this is, it's sexual harassment. It is not sexual harassment. Let's be real here. Like, if you just start throwing, uh, like, well, words like that out there, it's, it's, like, it's not, it's gonna lose its meaning. You know? What if, like, the kids get abused by their, their parents? Or, you know, or someone sexually abuses somebody else? Like, this is not sexual harassment. It's just called being stupid. A lot of people have it. It's a very uh, common symptom. You did this because kids are vaping in the bathrooms. This is your solution? Real creative. I don't know how would I solve that issue, though. Is it is it legal for kids to vape? Because I think it might be legal for high schoolers to smoke. But it depends on the country. But not legal to Actually it could be legal to drink. It depends it really depends on the country, but I I guess this is the US. I'm not exactly sure what the laws here are. Uh but uh it's obviously a bad solution. I mean, what I would do, if I, uh, yeah, what I would do if I had to fix this issue, is I would uh, simply install smoke detectors in the bathroom, and that not just like beep super loud, but also spray water. I fucking guarantee it. Not a single person will smoke in there, and it would be a a less dumb solution. And it would be actually a quite useful uh, thing in the bathroom in the first place because, I don't know, some dumbass sets a fire. I'm, I mean, usually that would not be the case, but you have a bunch of uh, high schoolers uh, which are just stupid. So this is an excellent solution. I would say that would, that would be an extra security, plus it would solve this issue. So thumbs up for me, I believe. You're a top candidate! You're a top candidate to receive Lewis University's free guide, your wow factor, and how to use it to start your career. Is it just me who gets totally cringed out by universities? And colleges? Like, not all of them are terrible, but... I don't know. Like, if you have an option to study, on, study yourself, I think that would be a superior option. No, well, not necessarily. Kind of depends on where you are and how good the education is. This is definitely not not a generally applicable advice. But if you're in the U.S., for example, I would, or you have to pay for education, like a significant amount of money, it's really worth considering. And uh, your education can be, uh, your your skills can be proven in other ways. This is not really applicable to all fields. Uh, but in Europe, uh, I would actually just, uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Although not uh, universities are, are great. So, yeah. <laughs> but this is just super scummy. Like, this is what you get when uh, education is our business. Uh, for the last time, if I could sign up on my end, then I should be able to cancel on my goddamn own. We offer several ways to cancel your subscription. Please keep in mind that you have limited access when you cancel. Give us a call. Text with a customer care advocate. Or just begin a chat. Uh, I have an excellent solution to this. Uh, first time the New York Times uh, came up for me. And it asked for uh, an actual subscription uh, to view the content. I blocked the site and it never shows up again. Easy. Easy choice. I, I don't even... I don't even hear about the New York Times. I don't know. I only see it on Reddit mentioned a few times, but I have it blocked for like six years by now. My wife's cell phone plan was automatically signed up for the one gigabyte shared 
The figure I shared is exactly the same price. Had to navigate manual to find this. It does seem like that America is pretty much a nightmare uh, when it comes to uh, customer service and everything is just just a scam. And this is not exactly a thing in Europe. In Europe, companies try to rip you off, but uh, they usually have to be a little bit sneakier about it and obvious scams are uh, less common. God damn it. <laughs> US. I was told that this belongs here. The red one isn't a sticker. It's uh, embossed uh, to make it look like a sticker. <laughs> the Witcher, Last Wish, Andrei Sapovsky. Yeah, now on Netflix. Actually, this is probably on Sapovsky. Uh, so, I don't know. I Maybe. That's how it's called. Someone can correct me in the chat. Uh, I mean, the comments. It's probably just uh, the author decided to uh, use this well, just update the cover just to promote the show, and they got he got paid for it. And this is totally fine. Like this is, uh, I think this is this is fine uh, because it's actually relevant advertising in a way. So you're you're getting something that you might be even interested in. So I'm not not super against this. This is cool. All right, last one. I can't even take a piss without being bombarded with ads. <laughs> wow, I've never seen this that they put a screen into the toilet. Not like, like, I guess this might see some traffic in like a bar or a restaurant, but still, like this would just discourage the, the customers, wouldn't it? Isn't it just dumb? Like I would understand more if the customers were, were forced to be there. Kind of. But this is still very, very, very dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> Be on the display. <laughs> Shows ominous. But yeah, this would be checkmate. I don't I wouldn't know how to handle this. I would just take it like a bitch. I don't have a solution here. I need to step up my game. That's my takeaway. Because the ads are getting everywhere. Anyway, guys, uh, that's for now. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.